Now the invocation by Daniel Schindler. Let us pray. Lord God, how wonderful are the works of your hands as we gather here today to celebrate a step forward into new places with new people and new experiences. Let us not forget the blessings that follow behind us. For this school, which has given us a safe place to learn and a strong foundation to build upon as we take this next step into your world. For our teachers who have so richly loved us and cared for us, even at our worst. For our families who have cheered us onto the finish line and stood by our side through the many bumps in the road. And on this day especially, we thank you for the friends we have found among our classmates, for all the jokes that we will laugh about in years to come, for the hardships and tears we have endured together side by side, and for your love which has been made evident through the relationships we will carry with us beyond these walls. Amen. And now the Pledge of Allegiance by Barrett Hall. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. And now the Star Spangled Banner by our very own Hannah Case. that I've ever been associated with. One of the best groups. So it's an honor to uh, be the principal. Uh, we'd like to thank everybody. You can be seated. Uh, we'd like to thank everybody for coming uh, to support your students, your children, our students. Uh, I'd also like to thank, uh, of course, behind me, Mr. Atkins, our superintendent, who's done a wonderful job by our standards. Uh, Ms. Ashley Tackett Lafferty, a representative, always helps Betsy Lane, love her. Of course, my 
two assistant principals, Jeremy Hall and Patricia Hackworth. Mr. Junior Newsom, our board member, who also does it very good for many money. Of course, our guidance counselor, who we all love, Mr. Justin Akers. So uh, at this time, I think Mr. Atkins would like to get a little selfie action. Real quick, I just wanted to say one thing. Guys, I'm so proud of what you've been able to overcome, what you've been able to achieve in a very difficult time. You've had to learn some life lessons at an early age that most don't have to until we reach our adult lives. So I'm very proud of you. I want to congratulate the class of 2021 here at Betsy Lane High School. And in two, three, four, five, ten years from now, if I meet you on the street or at Walmart or McDonald's or wherever, come up to me and say, Danny Atkins, I want you to know that I'm defining my own success. I will not let anyone else do that for me, only I can. And that's what I want for you is to be successful. So, with that being said, you guys are spread out so much. Mr. Roberts has done a really good job with social distancing. I'm gonna have to do a selfie on this side and one on this side, so bear with me, okay? And thank you all for playing along with this. be looking. I'm not going to give you the old wave trick because it's like wave. No, stop waving. Wave. Stop waving. No, we won't do that. Okay. There's that group. Thank you so much and I'm extremely proud of the Bobcats. Thank you. Now the presentation of salutatorian of valedictorian, Mr. Jeremy Hall. At this time, it's much honor to invite this person up on stage and present him to you, our salutatorian of this year's 2021 class, Mr. Britton Jervis. <laughs> while, while he is coming up, a uh, little bit of a side note, uh, just to know that this morning from Big Sandy Community uh, Technical College, he graduated with Associates in Arts and Science in our Floyd County Early College Academy. So I think he needs a, an, at least another hand for that. Good evening. It is my pleasure to welcome students, families, friends, faculty to this graduation day for the class of 2021 at Betsy Lane High School. Everyone sitting here this evening has made an impact on the graduates in some way, and I would like to personally thank you for your support and guidance. I would also like to take this opportunity to remember those who are not here tonight, whether it be to the social distancing guidelines due to the pandemic or those who are simply not with us anymore, as I know my granny is shining down beaming with pride as I deliver this speech. A little over 13 years ago, I was five, and I splendidly remember my first day of school. I was excited and overwhelmed all at the same time. My parents were there with their cameras, snapping pictures of me, of my every move and cheering me on. Proudly carrying my Buzz Lightyear lunchbox, I, I chose a table to sit at located towards the back of the room and met a cool kid named Alex. In some ways, not much has changed in 13 years. Here I am today. I find myself excited and overwhelmed once again. Although I didn't bring my Buzz Lightyear lunchbox along, my parents are here with their cameras snapping pictures of, every, of my every move and cheering me on. And Alex is still a really cool kid and actually sitting here graduating with me today. I am thankful for the many friendships I've made along the way, many of which are also sitting here in this ceremony as well. But this is how things are different. We now face the unknown. We no longer no longer will we have the comfort of starting a new academic year surrounded by those we have known for so many years. I realize that most of you are experiencing the same feelings that I have, the feeling of uncertainty and unrest. May we not forget how far we have come and let us look to the future and continue to push ourselves to reach our dreams and goals. Thank you to the administration, faculty, and staff for helping build us as individuals that we are and ready to begin the new chapter, new chapter of our lives. 
There are too many of you to name individually, but I think I can speak for all of us when I say we appreciate and we are obliged for our time with you. To the parents, guardians, family members, and friends, your sacrifice and support has been essential to our growth. Thank you for instilling us with a strong passion for learning and doing everything to put us on a path to greatness. It is now time to take all lessons and values that you have learned over the past 13 years and put it to good use. Fellow graduates, embrace the opportunity before you. I know that each and every one of you has something special to contribute to the world. Be brave, because futures do not make themselves. You must create them. You are all creative and smart in many ways. Never doubt yourself. In the wise words of Mr. P, PYD, pursue your dreams. I am counting on seeing each of you conquer your life, conquer life in your own fantastic way. Always remember, behind you are your memories, before you all your dreams, around you all who love you, and within you is all you need. Congratulations to each of you. Thanks for the adventure. Now let's go start a new one. Our salutatorian, Mr. Brenton Jervis. And now, with great honor, I would like to invite to the stage a very hard-working young lady that leads this class this year, our valedictorian, Mr. Coran or Miss Coranda Newsom. I would like to thank my family, my friends, and the entire class of 2021. Whenever I googled valedictorian speech, stating my thanks was one of the things I was told explicitly not to do. It is cliched, overused, but entirely true. I would not be standing at this podium without the help of each and every single one of you. Four years ago, we were all drastically different people. A little scared, a little nervous, all with no idea what high school would have in store for us. Movies and television like to sell us an idealized version of high school, one where these are the best days of our lives, where our schedules are filled with parties, football games, and petty drama, a la Regina George's burn book. But if this was a movie, my speech would involve a rising crescendo of violin music, and our lives would go downhill as soon as we walk out of these doors. I want you all to know that you don't peak in high school. These are not the best days of your life. How can anything in high school compare to starting college, a career, a family? My goal in this speech is to not give advice because I am wholly unprepared to tell anyone what to do. But I would like to remind you all that we are meant for better things than the present. Just because I'm standing before you with some absurd Latin title does not mean I'm better than anyone in this room. No one will care about your ACT score, your GPA, or that you scored the game winning point. You will be remembered for your kindness, humor, and altruism. I think that we often forget that achievements are not only measured academically, but in how we treat other people. So as you go into the unknown, a little scared, a little confused, and with no idea what life will have in store for you, treat people with kindness, which is so fetch. And now the presentation of the diplomas, Ms. Patricia Hackworth. The first row may now rise. Coranda Rebecca Newsom, valedictorian, high distinction, business major, college ready, National Honor Society, and Beta Club. Breton Jervis, salutatorian. Breton Jervis, salutatorian, high distinction, college ready, National Honor Society, Beta Club, and he also received an associate's in science and arts from Big Sandy Community and Technical College. Miss Allie Akers. Honors, College Ready, National Honor Society, and Beta Club. Miss Erin Akers, High Distinction, College Ready, National Honor Society, 
Theta Club. Congratulations. Emily Bryant, High Distinction, College, Ready, and National Honor Society. Miss Ashley Caudill, business major, college ready, National Honor Society, and Beta Club. Miss Danielle Deeks, high distinction, college ready, National Honor Society, Beta Club, and she also received an Associates in Arts from Big Sandy Community and Technical College. Ms. Madeline Duff, High Honors, College Ready, National Honor Society, Beta Club. Mr. Jordan Frazier, Honors. Oh, sorry. Mr. Jordan Frazier, business major and honors, college ready, National Honor Society, and Beta Club. Mr. Barrett Hall, honors, college ready, National Honor Society, and Beta Club. Miss Emily Jones, high honors, College Ready, National Honor Society, and Beta Club. Miss Mary Jones, graduating with honors, College Ready, National Honor Society, and Beta Club. Miss Lindsay Little, high honors, College Ready, and National Honor Society. Ms. Alindra Mead, graduating with high honors, business major, college ready, and National Honor Society. Mr. Carter Ratliff, graduating with honors, National Honor Society, Beta Club, and he is also college ready. Ms. Danielle Schindler, high honors, College Ready, National Honor Society, and Beta Club. Ms. Chloe Atkins, National Honor Society and Beta Club. Mr. Donnie Akers. Mr. Davey Bentley, business major. Ms. Candace Blackburn. Ms. Chloe Boyd, graduating with a business major, National Honor Society and Beta Club. Ms. Jalen Boyd, business major. Mr. Jordan Boyd, business major. Ms. Kayla Boyd, business major. Ms. 
Mr. Christopher Brashear, National Honor Society, Beta Club. Ms. Aubrey Savannah Brown, business major, National Honor Society and Beta Club. Mr. Preston Coleman, business major. Mr. Houston Collins. Mr. Brady Compton, business major. Mr. Caden Kahn, business major. Miss Jadlyn Cook, college ready, Beta Club. Mr. Ethan Doble, business major, college ready. Mr. Matthew Duddleson. <laughs> Kaylee Leanne Evans, business major, National Honor Society, Beta Club. Congratulations, Kaylee, I love your hat. Miss Valerie Gaines, National Honor Society. Mr. Logan Gross, business major, college ready. Miss Bailey Hall, business major, National Honor Society, Beta Club. Mr. James Hall, National Honor Society. Mr. Nicholas Hall. Mr. Clayton Hamilton, business major. Ms. Haley Hamilton, business major. Ms. Aneta Hamilton, business major. Ms. Schuyler Hamilton, National Honor Society. Mr. Andrew Howe, business major. Mr. Landon Howard, business major, career ready, National Honor Society. Mr. Nicholas Howell, business major.
I think I messed it up. <laughs> I think it was me. Ms. Cassidy Leanne Hughes, business major, National Honor Society, Beta Club. Ms. Haley Irons, business major. Mr. Britton Gerald, business major, college ready, National Honor Society, and Beta Club. Ms. Summer Gerald, business major, National Honor Society. Alexander Kendrick, business major. Azalea Kidd, business major, National Honor Society, Beta Club. Ms. Caitlin Kidd, National Honor Society, business major. Ms. McKenna Kidd, National Honor Society. Ms. Savannah Kilburn, business major, National Honor Society, Beta Club. Mr. Kobe Lawson. Good job, baby. Mr. Zachary Lewis, business major. Mr. Landon Martin. Mr. Cameron Mead, business major. Ms. Mariah Mead, business major. Ms. Melissa Mead, National Honor Society, Beta Club. Ms. Schuyler Mead, business major, college ready. Mr. Austin Miller, business major. Mr. Seth Morrison, college ready, career ready, National Honor Society and Beta Club. Ms. Haley Newsom. Mr. Kyle Newsom, business major.
Mr. Cosa Nichols. Mr. Connor Nichols, college ready, business major. Mr. Gabe Parsons, business major. <coughs> Mr. Cyrus Ramsey, business major. Mr. Ashton Rose, business major, college ready. Ms. Brittany Sloan, business major. Mr. Gavin Sloan, business major, career ready. Mr. Ms. Haley Sloan, business major, college ready. Ms. Kennedy Sloan, business major. Ms. Megan Smith, business major, college ready, National Honor Society and Beta Club. Mr. Kenneth Lathan Stanley, business major. Mr. Kyle Sturgill, business major, college ready. Mr. James Sturgill, business major. Mr. Aiden Tackett, business major. <laughs> Ms. Haley Pinion. Ms. Amy Tackett, business major. Austin Craig Tackett, National Honor Society, Beta Club. Lauren Chanel Watkins, business major, National Honor Society and Beta Club. Got to nod to set them down. I now pronounce you graduates of Betsy Lane High School.
like that a lot better than the silly string. <laughs> Okay, what we're going to do, uh, probably right around 8.15, by that clock up on the wall, uh, we can start stepping outside and get in position because we're going to shoot fireworks out front. But that'll give us about 25 minutes to take some pictures. Uh, we'll go ahead and do that right now. Thank you all.